You guys are learning about the web and you know being able to do business this way is fantastic. Um, do you know Jenna Marbles? You know she makes seven hundred thousand dollars a year. <laughs> so uh, and you know what her what she says? People say, how do you get to get, you know, have a video go viral? How do you make it like you're making it? And she says, be yourself. And I think that is so true. You know, not trying to copy anybody else. It's like finding out who you are and then going with that, believing in that, believing in yourself. You know, when you're doing something that you love, you have passion for what you're doing, other people feel it too. So it's just a good rule of thumb to, you know, Joseph Campbell, do you know him? You know, go with your bliss, um, follow your bliss. I think it's, it's really true. I think another thing worth adding to that, that's somewhat of a counterpoint, is don't be afraid, uh, I'm sure you've heard it before, don't be afraid to fail because it's really, I'm, I, I was writing fiction in college and I had a terrific professor who's no longer living, but he said, um, the only way you can really create a good story is to start by writing a bad story and then rework it and refine it until it says what you want it to say. Nothing, nothing great or even worth doing was ever done on the first try. So um, <laughs> Virginia is such a, an embodiment of that. She'll have a painting that'll that'll be, you know, have a date of 2007 on it, and she'll say, no, I think this isn't quite done. You know, I think I want to work on this a little more. And, and the, next, the next thing I know, it's virtually unrecognizable. <laughs> um, and I think the same applies not just to a painting or to a body of work, but also to a career. That, you know, that it, it's true that the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, but the shortest distance isn't necessarily the most enriching and, and I think false starts and, and failure where you learn something um, are about the most valuable lessons you can get, about the most valuable feedback you can get from, from your work. Uh, I think it's, I think, you know, Virginia went in these many directions and uh, before she found this calling. I don't know if you know the tarot deck and there's the fool is the, the, the one that's going through the journey of life. Don't be afraid to be the fool. We're all fools, you know? And so, you know, if you're too um, constricted by th worrying what other people are gonna think and what they're gonna say and what is the art world gonna think of what I do. And when I went through that big deconditioning and I finally started to love myself, it was like, I can do whatever I want, and I don't care if it's foolish, you know? It's like getting to that place of like just doing what you want and not worrying what anyone else thinks about it. That's a beautiful place to get to, and I think that's, that's the beginning of really doing your own thing. <laughs>